Hello, my name is Wendell Riley, and I am the Director of Media and External Relations at LSU Shreveport. And it is my honor today to uh, introduce a film that is very near and dear to my heart, uh, Spike Lee's Do the Right Thing. Spike Lee is a, a quintessential American filmmaker, and he is um, he's very prolific. Um, and he has a reputation for not shying away from controversial topics. And I think sometimes uh, people often overlook his mastery of the craft and his, his love of filmmaking um, and, and a lot of the amazing things that he has done uh, in the film industry, um, in narrative filmmaking, documentary filmmaking, uh, all types of mediums. And uh, he really has changed the landscape of filmmakers not just for african americans and for people of color but for directors as a whole so the film takes place in the bed neighborhood of brooklyn new york uh, and it takes place in the middle of summer on one of the hottest days of the year there's actually a heat wave and it takes place uh, spatially uh, within sort of this two to three block radius. And that gives the film a very cozy feel. It, it feels sort of like a stage production in some ways, but it also creates a sense of, um, of claustrophobia. You have this amazing cast of characters from different creeds and cultures, and they all kind of bounce off of each other um, throughout the, the course of the film. And what happens is we see these people um, in this oppressive heat, um, each of them having their own struggles. We see them interact with each other through the lens of their prejudices. We see them interact through the lens of uh, their preconceptions about each other. And ultimately, it's just a, these, uh, a series of microaggressions that build and build and build. And, and I, I think of the film as sort of a pressure cooker, right? But what makes it compelling is that each of the characters that you're introduced to, they are appealing in some way. And they're, they're all flawed, but they're extremely well-written. They're, they're very well-rounded characters. You have these amazing performances by um, brilliant character actors like Danny Aiello. Uh, Spike Lee actually plays Mookie, who is the protagonist in the film, and he sort of moves the narrative along, but you have um, stalwarts of, of black acting like uh, O.C. Davis, uh, Ruby D, uh, John Tuturo is in it, um, and then, you know, Giancarlo Esposito plays uh, Buggin' Out in the film, and many people know Giancarlo Esposito from his work in um, uh, The Mandalorian and also Breaking Bad, but this is a young, sort of fiery Esposito that is a nice contrast to that sort of mellow, menacing character that he plays right now. So you have, you know, fine filmmakers behind the camera. You have this amazing cast in front of it. You have a very smart script. The dialogue is amazing. It's snappy. Um, and Lee does a lot of, of things that uh, have become part of his signature style. But back then, they, were, they felt very new and very fresh and original. The way the camera moved um basically how we sat as an audience and 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 took in the film and then how we were brought into the narrative i absolutely love this film um the the lasting appeal for me is that uh every time i have revisited it throughout my life i have interacted with the characters in a different way i have al aligned myself with certain characters at one point in my life and then um, became much more empathetic with other characters at, at different points in my life. And that is a testament to the way, the respect that, that Lee gives every character, white, black, Italian, um, Korean. Uh, it's just, it is a literal slice of life that is dealt with in the most honest way. Um, and that makes the, the climax of the film all the more tragic. And then when you layer that on top of the same types of social issues that we're dealing with today, um, 
it, it's hard for me not to get passionate about it because on one hand, it's a celebration of, of art, uh, being able to really capture uh, and, and, and show a, a, a series of human issues in a way that, that is poignant and relevant. But it also shows that this film that is 30 years old, which seems like, you know, it's, it's foretelling the future, um, it shows that we still have a long way to go with social issues. Thank you for taking the time to, to listen to me uh, just talk about one of my favorite films. Um, and I, I hope you see this movie at the Robinson. It, it deserves to be seen on the big screen. Um, it is, you know, it's shot for that format and it should be seen that way. Um, and I hope that it's a film that challenges you as well um, <clears throat> and makes you want to have a discussion about it. You know, uh, it, it, it really is the purpose of this type of art. And ultimately, I hope it will get us to a place where we can talk about our problems, talk about what we're scared of, and hopefully increase the peace.